pen. Hello, welcome to another video where I do stuff with pens. Today it's pens. I am Aziza, in case you don't know. Um, I haven't had breakfast, but I've had coffee. Can you tell? It's really delicious. It's actually not, but it's it's like grossly delicious. It's Tim Hortons coffee. Um, you know, love it or hate it. It. I, I'm just going to stop talking about my coffee. I'll have a sip and then I'll continue. Mmm. I know it's a paper cup. I'm investigating getting a cup that can be refilled at Tim Hortons. Okay. So, um, today it's going to be like a preview mini unboxing thing because what happened was um, several weeks ago, someone who is not me ordered a king size Conid, wait, Conid pen, king size fountain pen. And, um, the parcel arrived yesterday. That's right, yesterday. That's how excited I am. And then there was the pen, but then there was also another pen in there, which was a surprise that I didn't know about. So, uh, I'm pretty excited about it and I thought I would share it with you. So thank you to Conid and, and Steven for placing this order so that I could get this surprise pen I didn't know about. Super exciting. Okay, so the pen that Steven got is this Conid King Size. Now, I'm not doing anything with his pen because it's his pen and I'm sure he wants to have it back because right now I have it and that's all. So this is his pen and it's absolutely amazing. And although he had to wait for it, and that means I had to wait to see it, it because you place your order and they make your pen for you. Totally worth it. This thing is unreal. But anyway, this is not about the Conid King size. This is about the gifty that I got that I didn't know about, my surprise gifty. My pen came in this box now. Sleek, stylish, it says Conid on the front. That's not focusing, that's okay, it's not a review. I'm just showing you because I'm excited. And I'm gonna just slide the actual box out. It's a black aluminum box. You lift the lid, I'm gonna do so carefully. It has all sorts of details on it. Yeah, sorry, I'm not bothering with the focus because I'm not really trying to show it to you. Just It comes with this and a bookmark, which is never bad because I love to read and you can never have too many bookmarks. It's protected by a little foam thing, and then underneath there's some stuff. Now, I've taken everything out. It also has some spare O-rings in here, which are never a bad thing. Now, the pen that I got is this. Can you even see it? Where is the pen, Aziza? Oh, it's right here, because it is the Conid Minimalistica Stealth. Now, it is stealth because it is stealthy. So, because I want to show you this pen, I'm not going to talk much more up here. I'm just going to say thank you. I'm so excited. And it's super cool. So let's tilt the camera down. I will show you the pen parts. Then I'm going to do the very first inking on camera. And we're going to see how it writes. So we'll see how it goes. And that's everything. See you in like 30, not even 30 seconds, like one second. It's going to be like five minutes for me, but like a split second for you. Okay, bye. Oh, hello. Welcome back, Lay Cookie Crumbs. This is the Conan box. I just thought I would quickly show you. On the underside, it says, it gives you what the pen is. So this is Minimalistica. Um, I believe this is like, like their code for describing the configuration of the pen. So if you go on their website, it has different options and um so it's black conid bulk filler black barrel flat top and um that's all i understand so <laughs> oh um silky finish i believe i don't know what the t is for but this one has the silky finish to it so let's go inside and take a look at just the packaging just quickly so metal box. Uh, it's fairly light. I do appreciate that it is very low waist, like it's not excessively huge for the size of the pen. Inside you have the plate that is signed by the creators and, and also tells you your, um, it's, it's your, sorry, it's your certificate of authenticity. Inside as well, you also have the details on what your model is, shows you how to fill it. Trust me, if you have never used a bulk filler before, you want to pay attention how to use the bulk filler. And that's about it. 
So it also comes with a little nib card to show you what your nib has been tuned to, like to what level of wetness and size. I think that's really cool. I appreciate these de these details. So that's the nib. We've got a bookmark, as I said, and inside. Uh, this is where the pen would sit, like so, and then it also came with the O-rings. Now you can also purchase extra um, extra items, like a tool so that you can uh, disassemble your Conid. I happen to already have tools, so yeah, I don't need anything like that. Now, let me just put this back together and out of the way, we'll take a look at the minimalistic... Ah, sorry for the noise. So here is the pen. This is the silky finish. It is a stealth model version because it's all black, literally all black. Everything on it is black, including the trim, the clip. Now the top has the Conid logo on the finial, which is actually really cool. Let me uncap that because um, this is how the bulk filler system works. It actually locks into place. Now I have a clear one I can show you. So up here is where it locks. You can see that part there and it's just really neat. There we go. Um, there. So you can see the, 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 sorry, the titanium part that locks as well and it looks like this. So anyway, enough of that nonsense. I will show you how it works in a second. It's very sleek. It's, it's very stealthy. Pretty darn cool. It is a slip cap, which is one of the things I love about it. For me, it's super comfortable in hand. I really like it. It can post. Let me just zoom out just a touch here. Can post. Still quite comfortable. It's a very light pen. Now, if you hate fingerprints, you will probably not like the silky finish because this one picks up quite a few of my fingerprints. Of course, I use a lot of hand cream and I have long hair, so there's a lot of like stuff going on. Okay. The nib I have is the Stealth Box Steel nib, and we are going to show us, I mean, we're going to show, do an inking. Now the ink I have selected is Pilot Iroshizuku Takesumi, because I thought the black would be kind of neat. So let's open the bottle. I haven't used the black in... Okay, there we go. Of course I get ink on me. Let me grab a Kleenex, a paper towel. So the pen, the how to use it. First thing you need to do, let me just show you the instruction sheet. So the idea is you have to unscrew the piston rod from the seat, like the section here, pull it up, screw it into the thingy thing, whatever that is called, and then lock it so that you can move the entire thing. So what we're going to do is unscrew. Now, you can't see what's going on, so you're kind of going blind here, but you could tell by feel. You can see that the rod is coming out, and if you give it a light tug, it'll move. So, the next thing we're going to do is keep turning it, because we want to lock it into the piston depressing mechanism. Once you have locked it, we can push it. Easy peasy. So to ink, it, it's just a piston. So we're going to put it in the Le Bottle of Le Ink. I, I typically leave my stuff in for a second to let the suction draw up a bit of ink. I'm going to wipe off the section. And then you... Oh wait, sorry, sorry. I haven't, I haven't even inked it yet. I just depressed the air. So then we raise it. I don't know if I did it low enough. I can't see the ink bottle here. Okay, so once we do that, we have inked. We then turn it to unlock it from the, um, what's it called? The, the piston turning thingy. So, and then we unlock it and then once you unlock it, you're only going to be moving the rod down, not the entire piston. So I typically leave it in the ink bottle anyway, just in case like a couple splotches of ink comes out. 
So I'm just going to cap this before I write with it and just show you something really quick. So what we have done, this is one that is already inked. Um, we have unlocked the piston rod from the secondary chamber by rotating it. Once you have rotated it, you can, oh, it's not all the way out yet. You can pull it out. There we go. And then this, you keep rotating to screw into that piston depressing mechanism. Now, what you can see has happened is, let me show you. If you unlock it, you can move this. And if you lock it, you cannot move it. So we have locked it and then you push it down to activate your, what's it called? Your piston thingy, your piston turning knob. So that's how you fill it. And that's what's happening inside of that black one, which you can't see. So I just thought I would show you on my clear version so that you would see what's happening. And I'm gonna do this carefully because I'm trying not to spill ink. Okay. There you go. Now, let's do a writing sample. Was that horribly confusing? Maybe it was. Too bad, you'll have to buy your own to figure it out. It's not that complicated once you do it once or twice. And once you are aware of how the pen filling system works, you'll actually think it's amazing, because it is. So this is my milligram notebook. And um, I'm just gonna use this because I like it. So let's do a little bit of a do writing sample. So we've got the, I did dry it with my Kleenex, so I probably suck some ink out of it. That is a very pleasant nib. Kona does tune the nibs on the way out the door to your specifications. They do nib grinds. They offer uh, steel, titanium, stealth, gold, and rotinated gold nibs. I don't think I missed any there. Um, this one's quite pleasant. Often my issue with these stealth nibs is they have a lot of feedback. This one is well-tuned. I don't know what they did to it. Well-adjusted. Well, I do know what they did to it. They did this. They tuned it. This is a fine. It is... The nib grade is like around 35, 40, 45, so it's a 40 because that's about the size of the line. Pretty awesome. Um, I like that they tune their nibs. I appreciate that. I mean, I can do minor tuning myself, but like when you buy an expensive pen, you just want it to be perfect and it should be perfect. So it's a firm nib, but it's a really solid writer. Very, very decent. I like it a lot. So there you go. There is just a preview of my stealthy new Conid Minimalistica. Hope you think it's kind of nifty. Um, here it is with the, the clear version of it. And um, they also have like different combinations. So if you want to have like a black cap on a clear body, you can do that too. And if, if, if you're interested in just seeing the king size just for size comparison, um, let me just move these. There you go. Just, just so you can have an idea of the size comparison. So there you go. So awesome. I'm, I'm quite interested in it. Um, I think it's a really cool system. I think there's a lot of good stuff, a lot of neat stuff going on here. And this is definitely going to become, like this is one of my daily writers. It's always inked. So this is definitely going to become a, a pair, a fan, a friend for it. Love it. Wish this king size was mine. It's not, but you know, one can dream. So I hope you found this sort sort of, you know, fun, sort of useful, like sort of nifty. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, I would be super grateful if you would like and subscribe. That would be wonderful. And you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens. Thank you guys so much. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.